Kosovo has targeted the reduction of its reliance on imported ammunition through local production. The government has decided to build the country's first ammunition factory and drone designing lab, aiming to meet domestic demand and also tap into the export market. To support all our nations in the region and, in wide, and even wider in terms of uh, ammunition uh, supply, having consideration also that lack of uh, ammunition in many stocks in uh, NATO countries due to the war in Ukraine. Due to its inexperience in this field, Kosovo has entrusted the Turkey state-owned producer machinery and chemical industry to ensure the functionality of the factory and provide staff training. Once the production begins, the factory will operate as a 100% local brand. MKE also announced they are proud to work with Kosovo in its defense industry. MKE will play most important role in all this contract by taking uh, from the scratch everything until uh, they make this, uh, if we can say, factory functional and ready to produce ammunition. In a separate initiative from its contract with Turkey's MKE, Kosovo is planning to establish a laboratory for drone design. This marks the initial phase of the project, with production potentially taking place at a later stage. The Kosovo security force is transitioning into a full military force, a process expected to be completed by 2028. Experts believe the new factory will contribute to regional security. Factory will have an impact on the security environment for the national security of Kosovo, even that we will support the international community for supporting them in their operation field with our industry of modern warfare that we have created with the partnership with the Turkish army. In addition to weapons and military vehicles, Kosovo has purchased Bayraktar drones from Turkey and is buying US Javelin anti-tank missiles. The Pristina government asserts that these plans are being carried out in line with NATO standards, with the aim of eventually joining the alliance in the future. NATO remains present in Kosovo since 1999 through its K4 mission under a UN mandate. Harisa Demi, TRT World, Pristina, Kosovo.